guys welcome back i hope you've had a good week so this week what we are doing is is it over but i have got a little bit of updates for you before we get cracking so i am back to work august 8th we're nearly there we're nearly there and i am taking bookings for that week um so yeah people are already starting to book so if you do want a reading on my return to work it is august 8th uh and it's there on out, right? We're back full time. So email readings return will be 24 to 48 hours. Video readings return will be the seven days and we're, we're, we're rocking and rolling. Um, I still have spaces for email readings on July 15th. All the video bookings are, are booked up. Um, but if you do want email readings, let me know July 15th. Um, but other than that, August uh, 8th, that week. Let's go, we're going. Um, other things, I am doing a retreat. I've been asked to do a retreat. Um, it's in Matlock, Bath, um, and I've been asked to do a talk on Druidry and Magic. Um, I'm hoping that I can get it up on Zoom rather than just in person. Um, so watch this space and I will keep you posted on that. I also have the podcast that I did last year, um, or I did in 2020. I have the podcast ready to send out to you, um, ready to post for you um, once I get back. So yeah, that's all the gossip. August 8th, back, full full form and retreats coming in September and podcasts. Um, and so I'm really, really excited to be back with you all. Um, the Hunter's Good, starting to try to learn how to crawl. Um, currently down for a nap. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to get going for you. So we are doing Is It Over? We've got um, the mythical... We've got... That's Poppy making that noise, by the way, if you can hear it. Mythical Creatures Tarot is deck number one. And deck number two, we're using the Victorian Romance Tarot. Simply just love the box. I think the box is epic. Um, and that is deck, deck number two. So, number one, number two, pick your deck. Is it over? I can't wait to see what ha what cards come up. I asked the cards this morning. I said, "What what should we read about today?" Um, and they were all they were saying, "Is it over?" So that's the reading we're doing. Deck number one. Let's go. So is it over between them and the people? As always, you know how we work now. Uh, we being me and my guides work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances. So. Um, it goes into all your energies, pulls out the strongest energy between you all. Okay, let's go. Uh, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's energetic field? And let's go. Is it over between deck number one and their people? Is it over? I'm just going to shut that door a little bit too because... I've got music on in the background for Hunter, and it is, it's frozen music because he's napping, so um, all I can hear is, is uh, Idina Menzel singing at me. Is it over? Right, that's interesting. Four, five. Oh, your cards. Okay, right, your cards are very, very interesting. Now, the first thing that's drawing my attention to them is there is a very strong focus on blue, okay? So, throat chakra. Let me show you. Five cards are pulled. These are all your blues. And then you've got the emperor over here with your reds. So first and foremost, the, the, it's coming up about the throat chakra. It's coming up about communication. So if you aren't in contact, communication will be coming forward. And I can see that very clearly from the two knights. You've got the knight of cups and you've got the knight of swords. So communication stepping forward in the kind of immediate to near future. Um, so that's there already lined up for you when they do come towards you, when they do communicate with you, um, it's going to be out of an urgency. They're going to need to speak to you. And what they're going to want to express is their emotions. So it's like there's been this very strong shift energetically between you both. Whether your person has been closed off before, they are now ready to be open hearted and communicate openly about their emotions. So straight off the bat, no, it's not over. There's communication stepping in. Uh, some of you guys it will be two weeks some of you guys it will be a bit longer uh, again it works on your strongest energy between you all but the fact is there is open communication stepping forward and we can also see that with the ace of swords jumping up over the top so the ace of swords will stand for a new beginning kind of cutting through the bullshit of the past but again very air energy very communication energy coming forward between you both um there is going to be a need for your person to openly express how they're feeling they have 
kept their emotions quite closed off to you before. They haven't really said, well, this is how I feel and this is what I want and this is where the situation is going. They've kept it quite closed. Whereas this time, when your person comes towards you, the communication is a lot more open. Open communication, stepping forward. Um, and with that, you have your celebration with your Three of Cups. So yes, the, the, the communication is there. The, the meeting, you guys... <laughs> so not asleep <laughs> you guys want to be having a meeting or um a talk with one another with the three of cups coming forward possible social occasions as well which can get you guys to meet up you might find that your person rather than saying um things over text they might say oh shall we go to this party at the weekend um you know it'd be nice to see you something along those lines but it will be a chance for them to openly express how they are feeling so yes you've got your celebration yes you've got your open communication coming forward and yes you've got movement from your person so straight off the bat it's it's not over in fact it hasn't really finished the door the chapter is still swinging the door is still swinging and we can see that with the emperor as well so even though your person has been quite stubborn over the situation they haven't had a personality transplant. They are still stubborn. Um, but with them being in this kind of stubborn energy, they're ready for their next adventures with you. So it's like this calling is happening. This higher frequency has suddenly hit them. This wave of energy has hit them. And they're like, well, actually, I'd like to see how this goes. Let's see where the future takes us. And I can see that very much with the, the emperor. He's kind of future gazing. You know, he's looking forward into the future. He's looking forward to where things are going with you guys, okay? And never sexually orientated or gender specific, but you know, with Tarot, there's always male and female, so this is the emperor, this is your counterpart. Um, there is a sense of stubbornness with your person as well. Um, so like I said, you probably won't expect a personality transplant, but you have got this movement coming forward. Now with that, I'm just actually going to pull you some Oracle cards, if I can find the deck that I want. Uh, because I don't normally do oracle cards, but when spirits show me a deck, who am I to uh, who am I to not listen? <laughs> they have to listen, right? So we're going to use the vessel heart tarot, um, not tarot, oracle, to just go your cards to just show, uh, collect that energy with you guys. I've got frankincense burning down here. Oh, it smells so good. I love the smell of frankincense. Okay, is it over? Well, let me just get two, maybe three, let's see, let's see, is it over two, three is, three it is, is it over with them and their person? Okay, I like that. So the three cards that you've pulled oracle wise are truth, birth and trust. So we know this straight away so as i said your person coming towards you quite rapid movement talking about emotions this will be their truth so they are going to express the heartfelt truth to you see um the birth that comes next will be a rebirth between the two of you um you haven't pulled any cards of judgment or anything like that because the smaller term goal is them reaching out to you but with the ace of swords this would suggest again the blues open communication will bring rebirth of the connection between the two of you and then the last card which i do quite like kind of comes up with the emperor energy again the colors merging heart-centered emotions with the with the trust and root chakra energy with the emperor so the stability security so trust in the process trust in your emotions trust in their love for you when they do open up to you about how they're feeling um spirit is saying it's time to let bygones be guy bygones very old-fashioned saying which i think means leave the past in the past let bygones be bygones um but the truth and the trust of the connection so trusting in it letting it rebirth um, and it's there, it's all there for you. So no, it's not over. It didn't really kind of end between the two of you. And let's just take a moment to really appreciate the Three of Cups energy as an outcome. The, this connection will rebirth, this connection will land again. Um, and it's there for you. You know, the celebration is there at the end. Really good cards, really good cards. And it's happening now, you know, with the, the two night cards, it's, it's, this movement is, is right now, immediate future. Not like this second, not like this hour, but but not too far into the future. 
and that is step number one all right my loves i will speak to you soon love you uh yeah so if you want me august 8th i'm back full time okay let's uh just have a bit of a cleanse and then we'll move on to deck number two i'm actually going to just use some paolo santa I normally break the decks up but today i'm just gonna keep going okay deck number two so can we get into your person and the people watching's energy please and let's get a deck what number one it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all um i'm back reading full-time august 8th so if you need me uh, drop me a message mysticlovetarot at gmail.com or dm me on instagram or facebook um instagram you have to send a request because we got scammed so um well, you have to send a we me i always say we and when i'm in spirit energy me and my guides is we um we had a scammer trying to scammer so i put the profile to private so you have to send a request but i will accept it so can you tell me, is it over with those watching and their people? Is it over? Okay, King of Pentacles, I'll read you the cards so you know for those of you that do tarot. Two of Cups, that's a good start, isn't it? Is it over? Three of Cups. Don't know one of Three of Cups as well. So, as these cards are coming out, Eight of Wands, as these cards are coming out, I'm getting a song um, coming through my right ear. And it is, you remember this one, the Backstreet Boys, show me the meaning of being lonely, Eight of Pentacles. So I'm actually going to stop the energy there whilst we've got these five cards. Show me the meaning of being lonely. Your person has missed you, your person is craving you, and they want your energetic field to really kind of reach out to them, speak to them, communicate with them. So if they have been ignoring texts, if they have been ghosting you, if they have hidden away in the sunset or really gone into hermit mode and not responded and being completely ignorant to the situation, it is short lived. Okay. Um, so where shall we start here? Movement. Eight of Wands. Now, the movement over here, like deck number one had movement as well. So deck number two also, movement, your mutual energy. Your person is thinking about communicating with you now. They're not communicating or thinking about where the situation can go. So they are feeling a lot more stable. Before, there was like there is a kind of a, a sneaky energy around them perhaps they weren't being honest with themselves about their emotions perhaps they weren't being honest with you about their emotions perhaps they were just kind of hiding away nothing much really happening um so there was this heavy energy between you both but what's come out of that is this more stable beginnings the stable your person feeling a lot more stable over the situation and um, what has caused that let's have a look can you tell me what has caused the stability well, judging by the other cards, they're saying that they've worked out that they love you, which is pretty neat. Um, to go with that, we have the five of wands. So your person has become stable because they've realised that they love you. They've worked out that they have these very strong feelings for you. They've worked out that they have these very strong emotions for you and they've been conflicted. OK, so the confliction that's been happening has been within their heart energy um, and also within a stability energy. So their heart has been battling. Can they give you what you want? OK, so it's not a case. It is a little bit of a case of a heart in the head, but the head energy, the thought process is actually, would you be happy? You lot, would you be happy in a relationship with your person? Would they give you everything that you want from the connection or would you actually not be? And it would be a bit of an impact on their self-esteem. And this is where the <laughs> Having a chat. This is where the energy is really kind of up in the air because they were feeling um, this heavy energy over it all, not giving you what you want, um, and it was really affecting their self esteem. So, what's come forward from that now? is this progression route of they've worked out that they do love you they've worked out that you know what maybe it's worth a risk even if they can't give you what you want they can open up to you about their feelings um, and this conflicting energy that's been 
residing around the head and the heart about what they do over the situation. Can they give me what they want? They're kind of like, well, you know what? It's worth a risk now. I'm ready to take a risk. And this is where the Three of Cups comes in. So we have your celebration at the end of it. We're going from the Two of Cups to a Three of Cups. So from emotional love, that the, they realise that they're in love with you, to celebrating that love and celebrating that emotions. From a Two of Cups to a Three of Cups, which sh clops, cups, which shows the progression route going on between you both. So your cards are really, really good. So basically your person is feeling more stable over the situation. They've had a bit of a conflicting energy over their head and whether they were good enough for you. That's now changing because they've realised that they have very deep rooted emotions for you, very strong feelings for you, which then creates the movement towards you and the celebration at the end. So no, it's not over. Um, I'm just going to pull you three oracle cards like I did with deck number one. Uh, can I have three oracle cards for if it's over, please? So the first card you got on this is spirit. Then you got fear. And then, is it over? It's the hand slip. Is it over on deck number two? Is it over? And then support. So spirit, fear and support. Now the ones that are actually flagging up on this is for you. So you might have fear over the situation at the moment. You might be feeling like it's not moving anywhere. It's really gone peak tongue. And there might also be a little bit of green eyed monster, a little bit of jealousy happening and um, potentially on both of your parts over there because there could be lack of communication. But these are all fears that they're anxiety. And we have to remember that there are only there are only two emotions, really, two core emotions. One is love and the other is fear. And people tend to think love and hate are opposites, but it's actually love and fear. They are the polar opposites. So we get fear when there is love. And we can see on your cards that there is a very strong love between the two of you. There is, you know, they've worked out that they love you. And then the other two is spirit and support. This is showing over here that you are being guided with this situation. It's a very divine connection. It's a very strong unity energy with you both. Um, beautiful, beautiful feelings, beautiful strength and beautiful divine guidance being given to you. So even though you have this fear over the situation, you are being led the right way. Trust in the universe, trust in, in yourselves, trust in your spirit guides. Open, talk to them, communicate with them. They will show you the way. And that, my loves, is deck number two. So if you need me, August 8th, back full time. Love you all to pieces and I'll speak to you soon. Many, many blessings. Ciao.